Uh, and I'm very, very pleased that you could join us today uh, to celebrate this bipartisan piece of legislation that fully funds our public schools for the third consecutive year. So it is truly a great day uh, for Kansas kids, uh, for their families, uh, and for our businesses who now have a skilled workforce to look forward to. Knowing that we have two years to plan ahead and the, that funding is stable, um, it just adds so much uh, to our table when we're making those decisions and knowing that it's not in question. Uh, last year was the first time that we've had a two-year budget to work with and we thought we were out of the woods with that um, moving into this year. So the fact that we get to go there again, um, I think it's, it's a great success that all of us in education across the state of Kansas can be proud of. I mean, we also agree it's not perfect. There are some things in it that, that we don't love, but, but overall, this is good for Kansas kids and good for the future. I feel um, very positive moving forward, so excited to see them maintain the commitment, maintain the promise that they made when the Gannon settlement happened. And so today is very important for the 286 school districts um, throughout the state. The funding has been locked in, so that puts to rest, at least we hope, the legal aspect. Well, the State Board of Education is thrilled that once again the legislature has agreed to fully fund to a constitutional level our public schools because it's necessary, we need to stay out of court, and we need to keep moving forward. And of course the high density weighting, that's a great thing, the 20 mils, we're thrilled with all that. Like the governor, we're not happy with everything in there, but the significance is we now get to move forward without wondering every year whether or not we're going to get full funding.